What's up, everybody? It's Evan with Trout Fly Fishing back with a forecast for February 12th. Uh, it is February, technically still winter. And then you look at the forecast uh, for down here and up in the mountains, it's definitely still winter. Uh, there's some snow in the forecast, some colder temperatures in the forecast. Uh, I like February a lot more than I like January uh, because at the end of February, there's March, which means spring. Uh, but we're still in winter, and that's obvious. I mean, we need snow up in the mountains. Uh, that's a good thing, so I'm not certainly bummed out about that. Uh, but you sort of have to plan your way around uh, some of the colder weather coming in. Uh, if you still want to get out in the water, <clears throat> it's going to be a tailwater game this weekend, and then as it warms up into next week, um, you know, you can sort of mix in some free, free stones. Uh, but if you're getting out this weekend, uh, I would definitely hit up the tailwater. So we're going to talk bugs, flows, and weather. Normal stuff, let's go. So flies, I'm gonna go through a couple options for the next two weeks. Um, number one being a big spring midge. So this is a size 16 zebra midge. Uh, I've seen a couple bigger midges uh, when we shot five flies on, on the Ampa uh, last week. And then I've seen a couple bigger midges uh, popping up. You should expect to see those uh, increasing in numbers as we move through the month. <clears throat> um, it's a little bit of a different fare, so it's either going to be really, really big midges, like that size 16, or smaller midges, size 22s and 24s. Uh, so I grabbed the Masker Midge. Uh, this is a <clears throat> great buggy pattern, uh, sort of imitates a, an emerging midge, but it can also look like a bit of a mayfly. Uh, it's got um, its, own, its own unique style, sort of reminds me a lot of the foam back emerger, uh, but a little of that Matt McCandle extra special sauce on it. So. Uh, that's a size 22, so the opposite size of the spectrum there. I also grabbed a size 22 bead head emerger. Uh, this is a John Barr pattern, a great pattern for free stones, but also like using on tailwaters. Um, you know, blue wings are going to start to become more active as we move through the month, move towards uh, March. You obviously, March, April is when you really get those good blue wing hatches. Uh, but the blue wings are going to become a bigger part of uh, the trout's diet as we progress through February. So uh, keep those in the box. A uh, good option as a um, attractor on the tailwaters is a beadhead crane fly larva. Uh, so obviously, leeches, eggs, worms, stoneflies, all really good attractors. Uh, stoneflies are going to start to move around a little bit more. Uh, but an underrated one is the crane fly larva. It's huge. You have to be a little bit uh, reticent of that or mindful of that. Uh, especially in low flows, but uh, when fish are eating beadhead crane fly, crane, fly, crane fly larvas or crane fly larvas of any kind, uh, you'll, you won't regret putting it on. So it's something to mix into the rotation uh, if you're running into some slower, uh, slower fishing on the tailwaters this time of year. So uh, keep that in mind. And then obviously, as uh, the rainbows get wound up, the pink, pink egg, this is a size 18 flash tail pink egg, uh, great option. So. Uh, that's the flies. Let's talk flows. Flows. Uh, it's w still winter, so flows are still low. Uh, they actually dropped, uh, it seems, along the entire reach of the stretch of the South Platte. So uh, the Dream Stream, the 11 mile below Cheeseman, all have dropped uh, in the past couple days. Uh, so with that in mind, you know, lightening up your tippet, um, you know, may maybe picking some smaller bugs, uh, but obviously don't get away from use of the tried and true attractors as well, but uh, you know, means sm lighter tippets, smaller flies as a general rule. Uh, on the freestone side, uh, we're seeing some, you know, at Colorado Kremlin looks like it's probably frozen if you look at the gauge. Um, and from what I've heard from Zeke, it's uh, definitely has a lot of ice. But you're seeing, you know, some of the lower stretches are pretty open, like Eagle near Gypsum. You know, the uh, Arkansas around Salida is a middle section, is always a good option this time of year, the banana belt. So, um, you know, flows are nothing crazy. Uh, you know, take a look, make sure the your intended destination isn't frozen over. Uh, but yeah normal February stuff. No big deal. Let's talk weather. Weather. So I don't know if you guys have looked at the weather, but it's supposed to be cold here on the Front Range uh, this weekend. I think I saw one as the high at Deckers on Sunday. Um, I've certainly had good days of fishing in that kind of weather, 
Uh, so it's up to you whether you want to uh, make that journey. Keep in mind, uh, layer up if you're going to get out there when it's that cold. Obviously, layer up throughout winter. Layers are important, but uh, definitely layer up if it's going to be one degrees and you want to get out. Uh, fish are still going to be biting. You might find a, a bit more of an empty river uh, when with the weather being this cold this weekend. So uh, keep that in mind. Obviously, uh, probably a later start time uh, than you would normally do uh, because the high is going to be one. You want to wait, wait a little bit, you know? Maybe that's just me. That's crazy. But anyway, so that's on the front range. It's supposed to get a little bit warmer um, as we go into next week. Uh, and then up in the high country where we have some snowstorms rolling through. Uh, it's not quite as cold at Vail. Um, you know, highs in the 20s and the low 30s. And then it's going to get a little bit warmer, uh, you know, sort of midweek next week. Um, but yeah, keep those things in mind. It's February. Uh, the nice thing about February uh, is that the days are getting longer. Um, and so fish are, you know, it's still winter. They're still going to be in the winter mode, uh, but they're getting the itch just like you and I. So uh, things get a little bit more consistent. Uh, you don't get sort of into those really deep, dark January times when fishing can be a little bit hit and miss. Um, so, yep, there's the weather. Appreciate you guys tuning in. You know where to find us here in the shop, online. Also, come by and swing by and check out the new Five Flies bin Rick put together. Five Flies for February is out. Check it out on the YouTube page. Maybe we'll link it up here. Maybe we won't because maybe I'm lazy. We'll see. Have a good weekend on the water. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.